Hey, I'm Steven from Brow Supply and I invented the Unibrow Brew System. Today, what I want to share with you is the Element Upgrade Kit. And uh, let's get started. So, in front of me, I have the Element Upgrade Kit and I'm going to show you how to install it and we can also talk about why you're going to be using it. So, first of all, we need to put a secondary element inside the kettle. And in order to do that, we've got three ports in, these, in this kettle and we've got one up here in the front. So we're gonna start utilizing all the ports that are available to us to show you really how modular the Unibroy system is. So I'm gonna take the sensor out of the back and normally the sensor sits in the back port and so the first thing is we're going to want to put this element in where the port was for the sensor, but we're going to need to put a spacer in first. And so this is a two inch extension tube. And I'm going to put it here. Okay. Now I'm going to reach for the other clamp and we're just going to slide the element in. We've already got a gasket on that. You may see inside the kettle, the elements touching. And that is of no concern. Elements touching really does not matter. We wanna give you ultra, ultra low watt density elements and absolutely this is fine if they do touch. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the sensor in a T and we're gonna put that T on the outflow, on the discharge tubing of the Unibroy system. So we call this an instrument tee. It's just a compact tee, which makes it possible, you can see how that sensor sits directly in the middle of the flow. This is the discharge tubing that I'm opening up. And here's what I'll do. We'll put the T on like so. And now we're gonna connect the discharge tubing. That's not noisy at all, hey? I'll make the final connection to the mash gun. So I'll just grab the grain basket. And connect it to the grain basket. Now you'll notice with the Unibroy system, the way we ship it, um, we, with our barb connections, we have two straight barbs and I like to use the straight barbs on the discharge tubing. Why do you like to use the straight bar? I, I find that you can get better flow with the straight barbs and I really only want to use the 90s where I need them. And so here I've got the 90 barb in the grain basket. Okay, so now I'd like to talk to you about why it is that you're going to want to use the Element Upgrade Kit. And the you know, I'm gonna be honest about, you know, what 1,650 watts of power can do for you. The Unibroy system is, I think, the most modular system, all-in-one brew system that has ever been made. And I wanted to make this brewing system possible so that you could brew with 120 volts in the comfort of your own kitchen. And that's a really great thing, to be able to brew in your kitchen, in your apartment, if you live in a small space, I think that's really wonderful. Now, that being said, 1650 watts is really pushing the limits of, of your power. It's gonna take you a long time to get to a boil, and 
often I get a lot of email questions from users of the Unibrain system when they first buy it and they say, hey, I've got a really wimpy boil. And I say, yes, you do. Of course you do. And what I'm giving you is the most power that you can use while still brewing with 120 volts. Now, if you're gonna complain about the power and say it's not enough power, I strongly encourage you to either buy an element upgrade kit or consider the 240 volt system. The 240 volt system is a powerhouse. Now, but 240 volts just isn't for everybody, right? So having the ability to add an element upgrade kit into this, move the sensor um, on the outflow of the pump, this is a really great way to set up this brewing system. And now you get 3,200, uh, excuse me, 3,300 watts of power, which is a lot of jam. That is plenty, plenty power. Now, one thing that you really need to take note of if you are thinking about buying the Element Upgrade Kit, you must ensure that you have another circuit. You cannot plug it into the same circuit. Now, this should not be a fire risk. If you do plug it into the same circuit, you'll you'll just pop the breaker in your home. Um, now, most kitchens are wired to have two circuits in a kitchen. That's very customary. And so you should be able to run it with an extension cord. And I will say one more thing, safety first. If you're going to be running an extension cord with it, it has to be at least a 12 gauge, extent, gauge extension cord. So make sure that you've got 12 gauges, don't make it only as long as you need it. I don't recommend buying a 100 foot cord if you really only need you know, a six foot um, power extension cord. Make sure you're buying 12 gauges and make sure you're gonna be plugging it into a separate circuit. If you like what you've seen, feel free to comment, subscribe, like it, share it. And if you've got any video ideas that we can make for you, please put them in the comment section below. Thanks and see you next time.